What is up guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a pricing table within Jet Elements plugin. To start off, let's search for pricing table. But before we add it to a section, I'm going to create a three column layout. So here will be three items of my pricing table. And yeah, I'll search for it again. Pricing table, I'll drop it in the middle column. And I have the basic design preset that I'm starting with. So the first thing you see is the general tab. And inside the general tab, there is a possibility to add an icon. So here, choose the icon that you want to go with. Here at the title, this can be a name of one of your pricing plans. And you know the subtitle, you can type in what this plan will be suitable for, etc. And the next option is called is featured. If the item is featured, it means that there is something special about it. Maybe it goes as a special offer, but what it means is that you can add a featured badge. So let's go ahead and add it. So here it goes. You choose the position first off. And then you can tweak this position manually. Just drag these sliders and set the badge right where you want it to be. Okay, let's close the general tab and the next one is price, where you can set everything about the price. So as you see, we're going from the top to the bottom and the second section is price. And here change the price prefix where you can set the currency sign, the price value, and the price suffix it can be per month per year per week you know and the price description and here is how it's going to look over there all right features here go the features and there are two things you can change about the features the first one is text so the name of the feature and the other one is whether this feature is included or excluded from the plan. As you see, once you change the status, the icon is changing. And later in the style tab, you can change the way how included and excluded features are styled. All right, here it goes. And you can move on and add more features, but for now we're good. And action button. So as you see, you can add the text before action button, text after action button and here's uh, the button text and the button URL. All right, now let's move on to the style tab and let's change some basic styles of this item in the pricing table. What I want to do is to change the border color like that and add the border radius and set it to well let's say 10 right and the box shadow okay let this be like that and the transparency 0.5 All right, I think we're good for now. And now the header, where we can set the cell settings for the title and the subtitle and add the background for this section. The title color, I simply want it to be a bit darker. Here it goes. And here you have the typography settings. Let's just change the color of the subtitle. And here we got the alignment, the border type, border radius, and these apply 
if you have set the background. In the icon tab, you see the icon style, which includes the background type, font color, size of the icon. You can totally make it bigger. The box size, border radius. Next, here goes the pricing. You see, you can set the background color for the section, the prefix color, and typography settings. The prefix is the currency sign in our case. Here it goes. Let's just go ahead and change the color. Like so, we could also make the value a little bigger so it stands out a bit more I guess 25 will be fine and the suffix now needs to be a little bigger too so here it goes and here is the description which we have added we've got the gap which is the gap from the price to the description price and block padding border type border radius and a v supply if you have added the background to this section All right now here go the features again the background color for the section padding border type alignment and as i have said here you have the settings for the included features and the excluded features and these settings go separately so you choose the icon you can choose different icons for the included and excluded features and you've also got an option to enable the divider that's gonna split these features like if you've got way too many of them so once you enable this option it's gonna look something like that and what is left for us now is the action box and the action button action box is the section right at bottom of the item where the action button is located and here set the background color and here will be the before and after text that you have added to your button if you did add some before and after text but we didn't so now let's move on to the action button here you can set the size like so you've also got this option whether you want to add an icon or not the behavior of the button on normal and hover the background color the text color, the typography settings, border radius, border type, and so on. So here it goes. Now we have one pricing table item. What else you can do now is simply duplicate this item that you have created and drag it over there, remove the featured badge, change the price, change the features, change the title and the subtitle, and here you go, you've got three items in your pricing table. So I hope you liked this tutorial, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.